Happy Hungry Wednesday. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. It's time to start working on the Herms. So, I have a design. I will put it up, let you have a look. Um, yeah, it's been one of the toughest things I've had to do in a long time, trying to figure out electrical systems and basically in this little apartment, there's no chance of three phase. So, I've had to basically work a system where I can plug one group into one side and another group into the other side and take the heater element off one side and power the box from the other side and the pumps and all that stuff so anyway i got there in the end i hope we'll see we'll see so pretty soon but uh let's have a look at what i got here so this is the future mrs control box um i can't really remember the dimensions i think it's about 30 40 and yeah 25 centimeters deep looking at it now i'm not too sure if it's deep enough but We'll see. Uh, key lock. I've already tried to use the main power switches. They also have a key, but unfortunately I can't interlock the power in this. Maybe I can, but so I'll have a little look inside. So I bought this off eBay for 20 euros and it comes already fitted out a little bit. So I have to take some of the stuff out. I have no idea what it is. Uh, oh, it's a free switch. And something else uh, I don't know this guy will go I have no idea what he does unless somebody sees what it is and can tell me what it is and if it's useful and some din reels for mounting my relays uh, I've got two mechanical relays here little bad boys rated the 16 amps one for the mains and one for the heating coil obviously the side will come in power from the mains for the heating element. This side, well, I haven't really made it a mind yet, but this side, for example, for all the controllers and for the pumps, which will be run out the bottom. So I'm gonna have two sort of split power systems uh, connected in parallel via this little relay. Breakers, so these are the two main breakers, 16 Bs. Uh, I'll sit on the din rail as well, nice and handy. I have two manual key switches, one for each power, so nobody gets shot. So that's it, really. And for the control panel, I've got here two Max controllers, apparently meant to be the same but in completely different boxes, so hope that's okay. Uh, two K type temperature transducers but they don't really fit with my system so they have to go instead I have these here so this is from China uh, just a normal PT100 temperature transducer this screw screws into your three-piece valve into the stream of beer should detect the temperature and should control the process but we'll get to that later. we brew and uh, what else we got here we got some Flicker switches, we have the 16 amps with a light uh, and two red. So five green, two red. Maybe more than I need. Key switch, key switch, uh, plugs. So I want this box to be completely everything to be able to be plugged out and just carried away like a little suitcase. So the wires I'll put two meals on, run one meal from the main switch and one meal into the cabinet. I think that's possible. If it's not, please let me know. Uh, got five little power leads. Uh, these are for the two mains in. And then we yeah, have inside a heater element and pump. Mm. Solid state relays, heat sinks, some Conrad fans, which is quite nice. These run at 230 volts, so I've got no need to uh, use my DC controllers like I have. From a little DC pump here, so a little DC controller, coaxial power lead, um, a little dimmer switch. I don't know if I'll put a dimmer switch in or not. Uh, then, yeah, these are the little Wagyu clips. I figured these might be a lot simpler than using the others. Just stick them on with a bit of 3M tape and use them as my bus connections, uh, live and neutral. Some wire connections, some heat shrinks, some tools. Then I have uh, for the internal power, um, just a normal 230 volts, less than uh, 
10 amps. I think this is 1.5 millimeter, possibly also might be a bit higher. I think this might be my DC. No, it's my DC. So this is uh, one millimeter, 1.25 millimeter uh, cross sectional. And this is the bigger wire. This is 2.5, and that's for carrying up to 16 amps on a short distance. And then my main power supplies. So this guy is just a normal uh, 2.5, and the other guy also 2.5, but heavily insulated. That's it. Simple, huh? Honestly, not. It's taken like two months now of research just to get to here. So, uh, I'm going to be documenting the build. I'm in no way a qualified electrical engineer or a qualified electrician. So, copy this at your own risk. But this is just to show you how I've done it and hopefully somebody can pick up and give me advice along the way. So mainly it's for me, not for you. Well, okay, it's for both of us. We'll share it. That's the, the philosophy of homebrew. The intention of this video is to document uh, a Herms build from the very beginning until the very end. Um, I want to show what I'm doing to the world in the hope that when I do something wrong they will be able to give me advice, they'll be able to correct me, or you guys, sorry. Um, I'm in no way an electrician, I'm in no way an electrical engineer, I'm just a normal mechanical engineer. We use hammers and stuff. Uh, and please don't copy what I do um, well at least until I see it's safe and it's running and it's you're not gonna die but it's only here I'm gonna <clears throat> focus on little things how I do them the troubles I had to to overcome and share the advice that I get from the internet from forums with you uh, how to do this it's going to be long, I got a feeling it's going to be a long, long time before this is done. So, we're in for a long ride. But, I'm keen if you are. So, time to get to work. Um, where, to <laughs> where to start? It's just an absolute jungle of electric components. But, we'll get there in the end. Um, happy homebrew Wednesday. As I said, it is Wednesday today. And looking at all this, I think I want to drink a beer. But I'm not going to. Maybe later. Happy brewing.